Hi, my name is Kyle. I'm with a band called The Native Transplants in Austin, Texas. In today's lesson, we're going to take a look at how to do a submix in Ardor 3. It's a digital audio workstation that runs on uh, Ubuntu Studio Linux and other flavors of Linux. Any discussion of signal flow really needs to include at least a mention of the program called Jack. It is the program that controls audio signal flow throughout the operating system. The good news is that all the work that we'll be doing here today will be in order and a lot of that which we need to do to make an effective submix can be done right in order. So let's get started and see how it works. In Ardor, we have a session that is comprised of seven tracks. These were recorded live at once during a practice session by the Native Transplants. What I'd like to do is combine the tambourine and the kick to a drum bus so it's easier to manage. I also want to combine the lead vocal and the backing vocal to another submix so it's easier to manage. And do that in the mixer. Here we've got all seven tracks represented. I've already created an all vocals bus and what I want to do now is create a new bus. I'm going to left click in this area here. I'm going to create a bus, call it the drum bus. We're going to make it stereo and just go ahead and add it. Now the signal flow more or less is top to bottom uh, as we learned. What I'm going to do here is say, well, what are going to be the inputs? So we've got this input matrix, and what I can do is basically the flow here is top to bottom, left to right. So I'm going to pick an Ardor track for the drum bus. I'm going to say the tambourine out left and right goes to the drum bus in, and then the kick out left and right also goes to the drum bus in. And I'm done with that. What you'll notice down here is this is where the outputs go. The tambourine and the kick, now they have, they're going out to four places. So what I'm going to do is go in here and check it out. Where are they going out to? Well, they're also going out to the master, so I'm going to remove that. That was where they used to go, so that they're only going to the bus. I'm going to do the same thing for the kick. Go to the buses tab. Remove the routing to the master so that it's only going to the drum submix. And then it becomes easier to manage. Let's go back and take a listen and try it out. Here what I've got is uh, the playhead at a point just before all seven tracks are, are in there. Let's go ahead and play it. As we do that, we'll watch the levels on the mixing board. The and if you now I can control the drums with one bus here. Control the levels of the tambourine and kick relative to each other within the bus here. And you'll notice that in the all vocals bus, let's turn that off. In the all vocals bus, the backing vocal was had much less gain. It was due to an error in gain staging, and I'll take credit for that. Uh, the lead vocal, which was mine, was a lot stronger than the backing vocal. So what I did was I made a submix called All Vocals, and then within that, I reduced the gain on the lead and increased the gain on the backing, and then increased that all in total. So now it's very easy for me to manage through this submix. That's really all it takes. In our video, we took a look at a multi-track recording that had parts of the performance that can be grouped together effectively in a submix and thus make it easier to control when uh, uh, adjusting levels uh, to create a master track. 
Uh, again, this is all open source software in Ubuntu Studio Linux. From Austin, Texas, I'm Kyle DeHaas. Thank you.